Hey guys, Jerichung's 21 here. So before I start, uh, with YouTube's policy changing for monetization, uh, the videos are gonna get longer. So for all of our Let's Plays, including this one, from this point on, instead of being a 30 minute episode, there will be 45 minutes of content, plus whatever I do for intro and outro. Um... The live streams will no longer be an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. They will be about two hours. And specialty content, like what was yesterday, will be probably 20 minutes, uh, if at all possible. So, I apologize for that. That is going to have to be the, po the reality, because I need, I think it's 4,000 hours worth of viewing content for a 12 month period or a year pot a uh, year and I also need a thousand subscribers so if you guys want to keep up to date and know whenever I'm uploading and know whenever a new let's play is out and whenever um, the live streams are going on those will take place just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and help out the channel really appreciate it if you guys would do that. Share it with your friends as well. I'm sure there's something on the channel for them. If not, they can leave a comment and I can check into doing it. So I will see. So we're going to get started here in 5, 4, 3, 2, As you can see, we've got Blaine left and the 8th gym leader as well as Koga here. We have to go challenge Koga today. We're about to go do that. Uh, what does our team look like? If you guys saw the last episode, you'll know that we had two max revives. We have had to use, I think, both of them now. I think we had to use both of them, which means we are all out of our revives, also that means we have run out of our revive clause. So what has, end up, what has ended up being different with our channel, with the way we do our Nuzlocks, is uh, we have a item clause in effect, meaning any item we find we can use. That includes revives. Because everything is randomized, the chance of picking up a revive where normally you might find one is slim. So if you end up finding a revive, it makes sense that you'd be allowed to use it. So as of now, we have no revive. So, no revives. Sorry. But we have two psychic types. We have Hooten 1 and Hooten 2. Of course, you were seeing Hooten 1, or Hooten 2, I should say. He is the one currently sweeping through everything. Of course, I am using Speed Up Kia, and I apologize for that. As you guys can see, there's an outline right here on this floor that allows you to see where you're going in this gym, which makes it a lot easier to just get around and do all the stuff you gotta do. Including getting down to fight Koga. It just makes it a lot easier. Koga's first Pokemon is Execute, and we have destroyed it. This also means we will probably finish up the, the series a lot faster. Huh. 
<laughs> Koga's name is Anne. A little bit of interesting information. Uh, on my fur, on my actual uh, virtual console version of Pokemon Red and Yellow, even I actually uh, swept the Elite Four without using any Psychic or Dragon types. Uh, for Yellow, I used Charizard, uh, Venusaur, uh, Blastoise, and Pikachu. I don't remember the rest of my team. So, I was actually really happy when I actually managed to sweep the Elite Four. Because it, it was a great deal of pride for me to just sweep the Elite Four with a team that was, in my opinion, really lackluster. Okay, got 12 match points. We got. 40 minutes left. It's more than enough time to get down to Cinnabar Island. Hell, by the time we're, by the time this episode's done, we might actually be all the way. Uh, we might be done with Cinnabar and head out to Viridian. are wondering what the music is in the background it is actually our channel music I kind of picked this one out since uh, no one's told me what they prefer so the song it's playing is uh, right there Los Toradeos it's called. Uh, yeah Los Toradeos I, I don't know I don't know how to say it but that's what's playing right now. Uh, turn it up so you guys can get in here. It is uh, what's going to be playing during all of our randomizers, all of our let's plays. Still trying to find a uh, emulator that'll be that'll let me play Pokemon. Some of my more favorite Pokemon games, like uh, Pokemon. Some of the DS Pokemon games and a few of our other, uh, a few of the others like the GameCube. Because what's unique about me is uh, Gen 3 is, even though I've been playing since the original release of Red, Blue, and Yellow, uh, Gen 3 is my favorite generation. If you look at my two favorite game Pokemon games of all time, uh, they are Pokemon. Uh, Emerald and Pokemon Gale of Darkness. X Gale of Darkness. I like Coliseum, but I really prefer Gale of Darkness. It's actually one of my more favorite games. Uh, so Gen 3 is actually my favorite generation. I have fond memories of playing XD Gale of Darkness and playing uh, Pokemon Emerald all the time and just I, I enjoy both of them. They were just both they were just amazing games for me. Pokemon Research. So yeah. Need a Reno for a rival Found a strange fossil. I think it's a rare prehistoric Pokemon. I'm sure it is. Why do you have a cider? I will treat you my blood on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the uh. That's one of the big things that I just really enjoyed. I really enjoyed uh, doing Pokemon. Playing Pokemon Emerald and playing Pokemon uh, XD Gale of Darkness. They were both really fun games. I thought XD Gale of Darkness was really, really well made. And Emerald, uh, honestly, I am psyched to be able to play Pokemon Emerald on 
channel because it is, as I said, it is my number one favorite main series Pokemon game. I mean, I couldn't choose between it and XD Gale of Darkness. That's why they both share that slot as a favorite. But, uh, Emerald is definitely right up there with it. It is one of my favorite games of all time. It just was a really good game. That's the big thing, that's really good news. Wait, so the Katung is already extinct? Um, yeah. So we're actually gonna come over here and we're gonna see what our random encounter is, our, uh, our static legendary encounter. Last time I was here, it took me forever to figure out Mount the Cave. So I'm really bad at this cave. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, if I can figure out what kind of emulator I can use to do DS and uh, GameCube games, because the one I have doesn't seem to work for GameCube. I've tried down in the past. it comes down to is, uh, ultimately, if I can find an emulator that works, if I can, I will immediately download it. This is odd. Uh, I'm not supposed to be able to do this last I checked. play my Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness and just play one of my favorite games of all time. series after this is the gold randomizer nuzlocke and then we've got the emerald randomizer nuzlocke and of course after that we will play some of the other main series games I'll probably do blue and yellow and then do um, gold or do silver and crystal and then Ruby and Sapphire. So, coming up on Articuno, let's save state one in case it crashes.
stuff. Um, I'm not really counting who did one's knockout. That's the second time I've done this, and that's in this series, but uh, I just don't feel like counting. Seriously, I don't know those Thunder Shark drill pack. Putin's fate I did. I saw it and counted it. I mean, there's no reason to count it. I don't consider a knockout and a static encounter as a true fate. the fact that they don't have running shoes in Dolce Gen 3. I really hate that. Plus, who am I kidding? Ain't no one else gonna watch this but me. And these usually have like one or two views. One of them is always the same guy. Someone else is going to watch this. It's hilarious. Someone else has ever watched any of my videos. Count 
that as the revive for booting one. Yes! So happy. I love Dragon. See if I can come down here and claim another valuable item. Well, let's teach it to Zippy. I'm sorry, are you a star? Say that revive that's in my bag, it was uh, used on Hoodle One. This way I'm not cheating. I knew I'd find a revive here. I always find revives in this place. So, yeah, I didn't cheat. I found a revive here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cheat on my Nuzlocke. That's just bad Nuzlocking. Draco now. Thunder Wave Agility Slam and some damage. I think it's the leader. Just to use this move. I don't know. It's not one of those dragon moves. Hyper Potion. After it says, seems to be one. It is a Morgus. That I just killed. Oh well. Doesn't matter, it's just more for us. All that matters is that we got a. Sell the revive, even though I technically used it. Technically, by the way the Nuzlocke is concerned, I did use it. Missed. So we're all caught up. Ten more hyper potions, please. To the burn So 
Red Muscle Man and
legendary Pokemon. Dragons have some of the hardest Pokemon to train up. He is just a pain to grind with. In Gen 1, it's just really hard to train dragon types. The experience uh, gained and everything is just a pain in the ass in this gen. Also, dragons really didn't get any really good stabs to later on. Dragon types, which is don't have anything good to use. We allow some stuff out of the Pokemon. about 12 minutes left. So we should have no problem zipping right through all this shit. trick question by the way. Pokemon of the same type, species, and level are not identical. Uh, it is true. They are not identical.
looks like we're actually going to be through this. Um, 38 campaigns. What? Did he just say that campaign's waterfall? He did. Fuck it, I'll teach you. I'll teach you. That's that crap. Gonna be at a... We might actually get to the gym later today. We might actually get through all our gyms today. I doubt we'll get to the gym for about the end of the go up, so I end up not being up to actually make sure they go up. that move you somewhere really fast. So if you're wondering why I keep pressing the skip button, these don't move that fast in this generation. It's kind of ironic that I call them a skip panel when they don't skip anything. Just take all you to actually do it. And it is Giovanni!
all eight gym badges, guys. Now we get to challenge our rival up here. I'm actually going to call it about two or three minutes early. I'm sorry guys, I uh, uh, I know I told you it's going to be 45 minutes, but it's pretty much 45 minutes with the intro, so I'll see you guys next time.